Alrighty, we're back again. Uh, between recording, I went back. I've added some places for highlights and some places for some bounce light on Trumpy's face. Let me see if I can square this up a little better here. Um, I'm in my own light. That's pretty cool. Pretty nifty. Um, as a kid, I would watch Mystery Science Theater with my father. And he was always struck by the fact that they're making all these Midwestern references. And it is really cool that the creators of this wonderful show are from the Midwest. Because you don't see that very often. At least I don't think so. I don't know. But that's neat. I like it. Okay, so I'm probably going to let that dry a little bit, then I'm going to go back into that. I wanted to maybe have some pink on his face. I love to use pink. Probably too much. I've been told I have a very tattoo design aesthetic to a lot of the use of my colors. Which, I'm, I'm cool with that. That's fine. If you're an artist, you have almost certainly been told... Hey, you should do tattoos. How come you don't do tattoos? I just... I don't know. I don't want to do tattoos. I want to draw comic books. I want to do sketch cards. Um, okay, let's see here. I'm trying to keep this PG. I do want to warn you, I forgot to mention this in the first video. Uh, but if you watch any of the other videos on my channel, I usually make a swear. Uh, I'm trying not to make a swear in this video. But do be warned if that's something that bothers you. Uh, I make potty words sometimes in my other videos. I won't apologize for it. But I will certainly warn you ahead of time. I don't want anybody to have a bad time. We're not here to have a bad time. We're going to have a good time. Yellow is around his neck. It's looking a bit garish. Garish? Garish? Dee 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 dee. <laughs> garish? Garish? Don't like the color. Uh, that's kind of nonsense you can expect from me. Any given time, any given day. Yeah, okay, that's better. Then I'll probably go to his highlight. He's a white. The pink marker, question mark, for highlights? It's this. I use this. It's a Sharpie. It's a white paint Sharpie. It's nearly dead, but it still serves its purpose. If you're, if you're a starving artist, as I am, so to speak, uh, you know, you're thrifty. I feel like most artists are. I don't know, maybe that's too broad of a generalization. But, you know, I will hang on to markers and things long after they've technically dried a bit. Uh, because you can get cool effects with them. You can get a cool effect with a dying marker. Oh, we came from a dying world. I watched uh, Invasion of the Body Snatchers last week. The 70s one that had Jeff Goldblum. Sexy, sexy, young Jeff Goldblum. Stupid, sexy Jeff Goldblum. That's a little Simpsons reference, I guess. Uh, it's cool. It's a cool movie. Why? Okay, maybe... If this has been discussed somewhere online, and I'm just not privy to it, I apologize. But why is this movie called Pod People? Is it because there's like eggs at the beginning? Are those the pods? What's the pods? What? There's no pods. I didn't understand it as a kid. I don't understand it anymore now. What part is the pod part? The pod part.
I think maybe uh, if I finish this within another 15 minutes, I might show off the uh, the inked cards, the other 11 cards. I think they turn out pretty good. <laughs> There's only one I feel like people might struggle with, so I'd actually, in a way, went and labeled it. I'll show you here. I drew Ega, okay. I'm not like a, a caricature artist. I don't do likenesses very well. Uh, and I made it very cartoony. I mean, I have a cartoony style to begin with. Uh, but he's holding a snake, you know, because look out for snakes. Get it? I had him saying Ega. Um, he says that in the movie. I feel fairly justified in having him say that. Anyway, watch out for snakes. Um, okay, whoops, bonk, boink. Sorry, I'm messing with the tripod. Okay, now is that magic time of every sketch card where I go in with a pink marker and say, Is this it? Am I about to ruin it? Is this going to be bad news bears? I don't know. Oh my god. That looks pretty good. I like it. I like dramatic lighting. I like dramatic kind of comic book creep show lighting, so I try to bring that into my sketch cards and just stuff I draw in general. Kind of has a psychedelic flair to it, I feel like. Uh, which I'm I'm here for. I like it, but you know, everybody's got their thing. Got their own taste. Tastes. Tastes. Okay. Uh, I'm real weird, so you know, it is what it is. You're here for the ride. Okay, I'm going to take this purpley color. And go back over this. Boop, I want there to be a duck between the highlights. Sorry if this is blurry, by the way. Uh. I'm still figuring out my GoPro. I'm hoping it's okay, but I have no way to tell until I get the video off of the GoPro and onto my computer. By which case, it's at which point it's much too late. Ooh, can you hear that wonderful wind outside? Neat. Oh, if it was nighttime, it'd be spooky ooky. I like it. This gets real sticky. Fixative before I send it out in the mail. My mail lady gets very irritated with me when I come in with parcels to send off all over the friggin' planet. I'm like, oh, you got any uh, tape or something? And she's like, well, you know, it's not free. And I'm like, oh, I'm sorry, how much is it? Well, it's free this time. I'm like, are you the mob? What? What is the problem? <laughs> Just let me mail stuff. I'll pay for it. Let me pay for the freaking tape. Oh. Hmm. I wonder what this needs. The riveting action of me figuring out what this needs. Yeah. Yeah. I'll probably go over this again with a white paint marker. And just leave it whatever color it is. What I do like about this dying paint marker is that you can go over your colors and it kind of pokes through the other side, so it's almost like doing a wash. Like, that's probably not, like, the pro thing to do, but that's, that's what I'm doing. 
Oh, 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 boy. Poppy, right. you can do magic things. Poppy never made any noise. At least E.T. made noise. He could have made some kind of cute little... Wow. I'm trappy. Boy, me, 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 me. Y'all's favorite Mystery Science Theater episode. It's not an easy question if you love Mystery Science Theater. At least not for me. Uh, I can narrow it down to probably like a top five. Um, I definitely love Village of Giants. Like when I first saw it, uh, I don't know. It's so it's such a strange movie, and I love the bizarre tone of it. Comedy. Uh, I don't know. I think it's kind of a cool movie. There's a lot of Mystery Science Theater 3000 movies that I'd enjoy just as a movie. Like King Dinosaur. King Dinosaur rules. I love that movie. I think this show is probably what, uh, at least to some degree, like, it kind of married my love of, you know, monster movies. And, you know, it's a puppet show. Puppets are fun. Just have lots of great, great things involved in it. So, I think this is it's quite dry. Actually, I might bring on a new sketch card while Trumpy's face is drying. Take this here. Let's see who we got. We got the Solarite from Phantom Planet. They're adorable. I love these aliens. They're not scary. And it pretty much seems like they wanted them to be scary. Or at least the villain, villainous, uh, menacing to some degree. They're just adorable. They look like puppies. They make cool, roary noises. What is not to love, folks? I love the Solarites. The movie's not great, but the Solarites are. Okay, we're sitting at 12 minutes. Now you're going to have the riveting uh, listen to Trey find a reference <laughs> for the Solarites on his phone. I think I already have them pulled up, though. Boink. I don't know how accurate the colors are. I'm doing this in color. I'm gonna do all my cards in color. Uh, just I don't know. I just I I just prefer working with color. Um, which is no slight against anybody who's doing black and white cards. I've seen it's just been so many beautiful cards in this group, y'all. I'm like, oh my god, I gotta compete with this. My freaking mutant Saturday morning cartoon. So there's like a real pale green in this model, this model kit. He's got like a yellowish orangish mouth and his little horn or fin on his head and a little rough around his neck is red. Oh, I made a rhyme. Neat. Okay, um, let's see. The little horn on his head is red. Got a little red on you, Bob. Sorry. Um, and then this bit is red. Let's bring it up into his neck a little bit. It's fine. It's fine. Who cares? Whatever. <laughs> Dork. Oh, oh shucks, fellas. I guess we gotta go fight these aliens. Oh, oh. That's great. Okay. Probably have to mix this yellow with something else. But, um. Yeah, I don't know. We'll see. 
first I gotta test this out. Boink. Man, another 15 minutes went by real fast. I guess I'll be making more videos than I thought. Okay, let's go up. Yeah. Let me finish the uh, the yellow on his goofy, adorable, lovable face. His precious, precious face. <laughs> Sorry. Okay, I'm going to stop there, and I will start a new video, finish up trumping, and maybe do a little more work on the solar egg. Uh, once again, thank you for watching.